Hello everyone. Welcome to The Writing Engineer. Recently, I got some feedback on a story that I wrote that was a little unexpected. And I was confused because the person who was giving this feedback was always so, let's shall we say, level-headed and factual in their feedback. And the feedback that I got was seemed to be out of character, and it wasn't till a little later that I realized that what I had inadvertently done was I had touched on a subject that uh, this person held near and dear to their heart. So today on The Writing Engineer, controversial subjects. So I've previously recorded a video uh, on this, but I did not publish because it came across to me, and I had no intention of making it this way, but it came across to me as slightly accusatory. And that's not who I am. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to post a video that was informative and kind of a video that would uh, give people a little bit more uh, encouragement to tackle issues that are difficult. Um, specifically, this one is going to be about religion, especially religions that are currently in practice today. Now when you tackle a religion, or when you talk about religion, or when you write about a religion, you have to understand that a lot of people have deeply held beliefs. And that's oftentimes a good thing. Uh, religions are, by and large, uh, a good moral compass some of them more than others. Um, I will not go into specifics about uh, any other person, any religions on this planet or my religion in specific. Um, but religions also do offer a good source, a very fertile ground for writing fiction. You can take some of the ideas, uh, some of the stories um, that have been written down and they become through a few minor twists and tweaks, a very entertaining story. Uh, we can see this in the works of uh, Dan Brown with Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code. Uh, we can see it in many other works. Um, one I have recently read called Snow Crash, uh, which delves into the basis for um, several of the stories in the Bible, uh, the Tower of Babel, um, the origins of Islam, uh, etc. What you need to be aware of when tackling these issues is that regardless of what you are writing down, there's always going to be someone that will come up to you and will say, you know, that's completely unrealistic. That is not how a person would behave in this particular circumstances, especially given what you are referring to them as. Now, to me, this seems a little bit contradictory to the general purpose of a writer. A writer is a person who writes things down. Some people write factual things down. Some people write historical novels or biographies or any one of a number of nonfiction things. But for those of us who write fiction, those words that we're writing down are fictitious. The people, the places, the religions the motivations, the anything that you can name can either be based on reality or completely made up. So one thing that I had been thinking of recently is, is that this feedback that I was given is was something along the lines of, you know, what I previously said, is that this person would never behave like this. And while that might be true for this person's experience, that might not be true for all people's experiences. Um, let's take, for example, several stories that I read by David Eddings, where um, uh, specifically uh, the Belgarian or the Malorian, two of his uh, fantasy uh, novel series that he wrote uh, several decades ago. In it, there were several gods that roamed around the earth, and the priests of those gods 
sometimes behaved in very unpriestly manners, uh, sacrificing people, generally directing wars, etc. And there would be some people that would say, you know, a priest would never behave like that. They would always be promoting religion. And if we're being perfectly honest, we have to realize that priests and imams and shamans and I'm sorry, those are the only three that I can pull up off the top of my head, but all leaders of religion are just people. They're humans like you and I. They're not any better. They're not any worse. They are people. They are people who are putting forth uh, their beliefs and their religions for, ideally, the conversion and betterment of other people for that religion. But at the end of the day, they're still people. They can still have motivations that are maybe contrary to what the religion is that they have associated themselves with. And that is important to keep in mind when writing things, or even when reading things, is that the writer, unless they're a specific type of writer who is trying to get across a point, um, they're often just writing things because that makes for a good story. It's not necessarily a comment on uh, a particular religion or religions as a whole. But it does make for the story and for the uh, propagation of the story that they are in. Um, so I really don't have a whole heck of a lot else to say uh, about this particular matter. Um, and I do apologize if this is a little bit rambling, but these are difficult ideas and uh, things to approach in terms of a YouTube video. Um, I would say that as both a reader and a writer, just put your prejudices to one side, read the story that you're reading, or write the story that you're writing. Don't attack people, but yet again, don't shy away from something that the story is dictating needs to happen. If that means that you have an evil priest, then you should have an evil priest. If that means that you have um, whatever other dichotomous behavior for a person in a position of power or in any position, then you should write that person that way. Because while that might not be how some people would behave in that, in, in that situation, that certainly doesn't preclude any person from behaving that way in that situation. So I guess the moral of this whole rambling YouTube video is that don't be afraid to write things that other people might take offense at, but don't write them so that so that other people will take offense at them. Anyway, I'm sure this is a very fertile ground for comment, so if you want to leave comments below, I would love to read them. As usual, all my contact information and the links to uh, my books are listed in the comment are listed in the description box below. Please visit my website and subscribe to my newsletter if you want to know when my new books are coming out, which I'm working on too currently at the moment. If you enjoyed the con today's content, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know what it is that you didn't like about it. I understand that many people will be eager to comment on things like this. And uh, I just wanted to let people know that this was not intended with any malice. This was not intended with any forethought or um, ideas for fomenting chaos, if you will. So please, let's keep comments civil. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.